here, so tissues it transformed into living cells, and the stick became a snake, and that was the case. Otherwise, there will be no any difference between miracle and magic. If transformation is not taking place, only the shape is getting changed. So there is no difference and distinction between magic and miracle. So what happened to the 70,000 magician of Pharaoh? Yes, what was wrong with them? That they believed in the message of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam when they saw the snake. Otherwise they have also yeah, mean transfigured their sticks and therefore alqaw hibaluhum. Hibaluhum? Wa isiyahum. Yukhayyalu ilayhim in sihrihim. Anna tas'a. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they threw in the same way their ropes and their sticks on the ground and they were running like snakes. Yukhayyalu ilayhim. Huh? It was imagined to Musa. Allah used the word properly and purposely. Yeah. Allah didn't say that in the Hayya that they were snake running. Because they were not snake. Allah cannot tell lie. Yeah. He does not tell lie. So he said, you khayyar. It was coming in the imagination of Musa that these are snakes and they are running. You khayyar ilahi kanam. You can call it in nowadays terminology assimilation. What was that? Assimilation. So it was assimilation. يُخَيَّلُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ سِحْرِمْ أَنَّا تَصْعَى But when Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, he threw down his stick. فَإِذَا يَتَلْقَ فُمَّا يَعْفِقُونَ In a minute or so, it swallowed all their thousands and thousands of snakes. And they were gone. So it did not take more than a few seconds that these thousands of magicians, they said, آمَنْتُ بِرَبِّ الْعَلَمِينَ رَبِّ مُوسَى وَهَارُونَ that we believe in the Lord of Musa and Harun. Qala amantum lahu qablan azan alakum in haza la makrun makartumu fil ma. This is your plot. He is one of you. You are from the same group. You are from the same school of thought. You are magician and he is a magician. You plotted against my system. Inni akhafu yubaddil adinakum aw ayyuzhira fil ardi al fasad from the very beginning. Yes, in his union address. In his what? Union. union address. The president, he was giving his union address, Fir'aun, Khabis. So that shaitan in his union address, he, yes, he addressed the general public on TV of that time, whatever it was. And he said, Inni akhafu an yubaddil adinakum. That this guy is here. He is going to destroy our system. An yubaddil adinakum mean? An yubaddil nizam hukumatikum. That he is going to destroy our system. Say, now, when an established system is destroyed, so what is happening in Middle East? Chaos. So he said, Away use Hirafil Ardil Fasad. The ultimate result will be there will be a chaos. So if you want to protect your lives and to protect your properties and to protect your dignity, however or whatever the system is, you have to support it and to keep the status quo. That's what Pharaoh, Pharaoh was convincing them. Yes, and that's why the people got together and the magician showed up and they said, we are there to protect the system. We are there to, to protect, protect the and system. to defend the system. But when the reality came, so they said, no, this is not what you are saying. You are misguiding us. You are misguiding, misguiding us. That is not Daesh or something like that. Yes, that is a different thing. So they said, Amantu bi Rabbil Alameen, Rabbi Musa wa Harun. قَالَ إِنَّ هَذَا لَمَكْرٌ مَكَرْتُمُ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ And in another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that إِنَّهُ لَكَبِيرُكُمْ الَّذِي عَلَّمَكُمُ السِّحَرِ Oh, so this is the supreme magician. He's your teacher. He's your mentor. You know what I'm saying? So this is your plot. You have been plotting against this system. You are going to destroy the country. You are terrorist and you are this and that. Yes, the same tactics. Mm -hmm. History repeats itself. itself. So they said, No, this is not the case. Now he threatened them. I am going to amputate your organs, your limbs. I am going to crucify you to make you an example for the community. Yeah, to make him an example. an example for the community. Qalu la zair. Qalu la zair. Inna ila rabbin ala munqalibun. They said, who cares? If you are going to kill us, 
we cannot refuse and reject the reality and the facts. So what was the case there? Because as an expert of the field concern, our expert of the profession concern, our expert of the strategy concern, the magic, they were magicians, so they were expert. So they were observing the snake of Musa that we do concentrate on our ropes and our sticks. And that's why they are running. The moment we will turn around our eyes, they will become the same stick and the same rope. You know, that's what imagination is. But Musa is not Allah looking Allah. anymore on his stick. And it runs like right on. So it means that that got transformed. Our is transfigured. Our is transfigured. transfigured. Their one is transformed. Transformed. So that's the reality. This is not the case of magician. So that's why they say. And as you know, that when you get satisfied from the bottom of your heart, so you will be very much ready to sacrifice your life. And that's why Iman is needed to be where? Here or there? Heart. Heart. There. Because whenever Putanabi he is a very famous poet of Arabic. Yes. To Arab, Putanabi has the status of Maulana Rum in Persian language, of Bab Abdurrahman in Pashto language, of Allama Iqbal in Urdu language, of Shakespeare yes. <laughs> in English language. That is the status of whom? Mutanabbi. So Mutanabbi said, Ki azdul awaz li fawqa qalbi ta'ihi wa hawal ahibbati minhu fi sawda'ihi fa wa man uhibbu la'asiyannaka fi al-hawa qasaman bihi wa bi husnihi wa baha'ihi la ta'zil al-mushtaqa fi ahwa'ihi hatta yakuna hashaka fi ahsha'ihi madat al-duhur wa ma atayna bi mislihi wa laqad atafa ajazna an nuzara'ihi Mutanabbi was a great poet. He was totally illiterate guy. He was unable to write a single sentence. You know what I'm saying? He was un Sakati. He was not writing anything. These are God-given things. Mm. Oh, who is the founder of philosophy and the father of philosophy? Sakati. Yes. Where from the philosophy Socrates. came? And he himself? Yes. He was not writing a single word. All his work is written by his Stu student, a Plato. Of Latum. And Sakati, he did not have a proper madrasa. Yet he is sitting somewhere and students are coming and they are studying. No. The students, they announce that in Los Angeles, in downtown intersection, tomorrow, Sakati will have a lecture. People were getting together. The next day, yes, in the Santa Clarita, he will be on such and such intersection on such and such time. The students used to come there, sitting in the intersection. Yes, and Socrates was giving lecture and philosophy came into existence as a subject. As what? Subject. Otherwise, subject. philosophy is a natural thing. It was going on since Adam is born. Since Adam, Adam is born. But as a subject, it came into existence by whom? Socrates. By Socrates. So anyhow, Mutanabbi, he was like this. He was a mashki. Saka. Yes. In Afghanistan, we call it what? Sakao. You know Sakao? Yes. Sakao. Huh? Sakao. Yes, the one who has the skin bag full of water and sprinkling mm. the water on the street. Yes, he's called what? Sakao. Sakao. So, Mutanabi was Sakao, but he was saying extempore poetry. So, a famous poet of his time was passing by and he was singing. He asked him, Whose poetry is this? What are you doing here? So he took him to the king of that time. That we got a hira. What? Hira. A hira. What is hira? Uh, diamond. diamond. Yes. That I found a diamond. I said, who is it? It's a poet. Yeah. And then he was the state poet. Mutanabi. How famous he is. Yes. As an authority to explain a specific word, we refer to whom? Mutanabi. We explain a hadith or we explain an ayah of Holy Quran. Regarding a word, we are getting confused. So we rush to whom? Mutanabi. To Mutanabi. That how we use it. Yes. So we say Mutanabi. When we say Mutanabi, you say done. Because he's authority. So he says, In his whims and desires, never blame a ashik and a lover. Gufta Lara. Khalifa Kantavi, Kastu Majnoon as Pareshan or Ravi, as Hamahuva to Absun is. Gufta Hamush, to the Majnoon is. Dida Majnoon Agar Budi Torah, Jumla Alam Behadar Budi Torah. 
Somebody ask Leila. You know Leila? Yes. The beloved of whom? Majnun. Majnun. So somebody asked Leila, What are you? No beauty, no prettiness, no eyes, no complexion. Kastu Majnun as parishan over. But Majnun 24 7, he has become crazy because of you. Otherwise, no beauty is there. As hama khuba tu abzun is. You are not that much pretty as Majnun is showing. In his junoon and pagalpan, that he has lost his brain because of you. So, what she said, Gupta Khamosh, Chutu Majnun, keep quiet. Majnun is not like you. Didae Majnun agar hudi tura. If you had the eyes of Majnun, Jumla Haram be hagar hudi tura. So you were looking for Leila only. So this is the matter of heart. That, as we say in Pashto language, Chakhob bistara na wadi, awzra khaista na wadi. What we say in Pashto? Awzra khaista na wadi, awzra bistara na wadi. When you fall asleep, you don't need a phone. Yes. Ali, where is Ali? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because when you fall asleep, so you need for any coach or cushion or uh, what is the model and which company that is and the trade name or what. I'm not going to sleep on that and I will be sitting like this because that home is not available. No, you fall asleep. Heart, it does not look for someone who is pretty or beautiful. It happens. That's why in Urdu language we say, Ishaq and love, it happens, it is not done. Yeah, you cannot say that I want to make this for my beloved. No, it happens. You are not going to make anyone your yeah, Suddenly it happens in one second or two seconds, it hits your heart and then you become crazy. Looking for. So in Urdu language we say, Ishaq jati. That is not a job to be done. Ye ho jati hai. It happens. Accidentally, so that what he said. Mr. Anawadi, Ozlo, Shastan, so Leila said, Kedi de Majunagar, Budi Tora, Jumla Alam, Behazar Budi. What is love? Love has nothing to do with Brain. this part of your body. That is totally Heart. the work of that part of your body. And whatever is the work of that part of your body, no compromise. There is no room for any compromise. No gray area is there. No if and buts are there. You will be ready to leave the whole world for that which has been accepted by your heart. And that's what I was referring to. That what was the case with Sahaba? Because belief was there in their heart. So they were sacrificing everything or not? Yes. Look at a poor man who was a slave. He was from Rome. His name is Suhaib ibn Sinan. His name is what? Suhaib ibn Sinan. Suhaib ibn Sinan, a Rumi, radiyallahu ta'ala. Got it? And he was a professional man. Professional in the sense that he was known for his factory of Asuyub al-Hindiya. Asuyub al-Hindiya. Now, sword is sword. That is made in Syria or in Iraq or in America. Or, because that's a sword. Yes, but some area are known for the same things. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like every country is making Kalashnikov. Yes, yes. But Russia is known for that. Yes. Russia is known. Known, known for that. Mikhail Kalashnikov was yes. known for that yes. because from the very beginning it came there from. Yes. So the sword, it came from the very beginning from Hind as a tool of war. So that's why. It was known for its fame as Saif al-Hindi, that he is making the Hindi Saif and the Hindi sword. So Sahib bin Sanan, even though he was doing Yunani profession and he was making it in Makkah, his factory was there, but still the sword was named as Indian sword. And it was sold for much more price than any other sword. So he was a rich man, he got a lot of money. When he was leaving Medina and my, uh, Makkah and migrating to Medina, so the people of Makkah, they got together. And they said, you cannot leave Makkah. I said, why? A free man is my freedom. He cannot stop. I said, no, we cannot stop you. But all your property and money and whatever you have, you earned it here. You earned it? Here. Here, here when you are getting deported in one way or the other, self-imposition, or we are forcing you, you have to leave the whole property and the money here. He said, only this dress of mine, 
I will take care. I am not looking for any money. Hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he titled him. He certified him in Holy Quran. He certified him in Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, look at Suhaib, what a man he is. He bought himself for his own money. Why? Because Iman and love of Muhammad was there in his heart. Got it? So my point was that we have to understand and to know the book of Allah and the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a philosophical way to be satisfied with. Because something which comes close to your aql. Look, only one example in the end. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he was a Muslim or not? Yes. yes. He was yes. a role model. Yes. He was what? Role model. A role model. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أُسْوَةٌ لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ibrahim and his followers, they are role model for you. So it means they were perfect Muslim. They were perfect, perfect Muslim. Muslim. But they are perfect Muslim. He asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, رَبِّ أَرِنِي كَيْفَ تُحْيِي الْمَوْتَى Show me how you are giving life to that. Now, a reservation was coming from the back of subconscious. It maybe was confused in this belief. So, little bit confusion if that's in belief, that's not called belief. You can give it any other name, yes, but that is not belief. Belief means that no opposite side is there. No gray area is there. That's what belief means. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only to clean and clear the personality of Ibrahim from any doubt next in future the people will be having reservation about Ibrahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you did not believe? He said, yes, 100% I believe. But I want to make my aql and my heart satisfied with. Yes, and aql is becoming satisfied with when something is close to its approach. Smart. Yes, and we are living in a world of aqal. In a world of what? Yes. Nowadays, people are slaves to what? To their aqal. Yes, even though aqal is that much. Their aqal. But still, yes, it does not come into my aqal. <laughs> you know what I am saying? How much or how big will be the aqal of Esparo? <laughs> you know, but still, he said, I want to be satisfied through my aqal. So Ibrahim said, And as you know, that when you observe something, it happened, and you are satisfied. You are 100% because you saw it with your own eyes, and that's why we said that ilm, it has three stages. Number one, ilm al-yaqeen. Number two, ayn al-yaqeen. And number three, haq al-yaqeen. In modern terminology, we change it to ilm al-yaqeen, that is theory. That is what? Theory. And Ayanul Yaqeen, that is observation. And Haqqul Yaqeen, that is personal experience. Yes? You learned theory, you learned something, but still... Got it? When you saw the same thing, you observed it. Your level of belief went up and became strong. But you, when you experienced personally, then there is no room for doubt. For example, somebody told you, you have never seen it. But somebody told you that fire is a thing which burns things. Fire is such a thing which burns, which burns, burns things. things. Aziz Rahman told you, yes, and you know him that he is a <coughs> truthful man and he is a right man and he does not tell lie. Yes, so you believe, but still, maybe it may not be. Something is coming there, but then you saw the fire that it burned the thing. Still, maybe that's imagination or something is in my eyes. But when you put your own finger there inside and it got burnt, so then there is no room for doubt. So as a Muslim, our duty is how to bring concepts of deen close to the aql and to the approach of not Muslims only. Because Muslims are getting confused, but they are getting confused because of non-Muslims. You know what I am saying? So that's what philosophy and logic is.